Among one of the very useful features of AutoCAD is its ability to plot a drawing as a PDF. This feature was added to AutoCAD in 2009 and later versions and in 2016 version the ability of plotting to PDF has been greatly enhanced. Let's take the example of this drawing here and this drawing is in model space as you can see here. I've also drawn layout 1 and layout 2 view of this drawing. So these are the different layouts of the same drawing which is in model space. Now in order to plot this drawing as a PDF you can go to plot command. So from this quick access toolbar click on plot. You can also use its command equivalent plot or you can type control P from your keyboard. So that will also initiate this plot command. So let's click on plot. Now you might notice this dialog box. Let's click on continue to plot a single sheet now. Now this plot dialog box will open. From this dialog box or from this window, go to this printer plotter panel and click on this drop down menu. From this drop down menu, select this DWG to PDF.PC3 plotter configuration. So this is the plotter configuration which you will be able to see in AutoCAD 2009 and all the later versions. But when you move to any new version, these are the few enhancements that you'll see. AutoCAD PDF.PC3, which is a general documentation, high quality, smallest and for web and mobile applications. So these are the different qualities of PDF drawings which will be generated. So right now I'm going to select DWG to PDF.PC3 configuration. If you want to change the configuration of this plotter then click on PDF options which is a virtual plotter and change the quality of vector drawing from here. Currently it is set to 600 dots per inch and raster image quality is set to 400 dots per inch. You can change this value according to your requirement. You can also change some of the values from this data panel. So we are not going to manipulate these information right now. We are going to keep it as they are. Click on OK. We have selected the plotter. Now make other changes. So I'm going to center the plot. I fit it to paper. Now whatever is in display area will be plotted. Let's click on the preview. So here I have the preview of the drawing. So if you're satisfied with the preview, click on OK button. If not, let's select the window which we want to plot. So I'm going to select this window for plotting our drawing. So this will be our plot window. Now click on OK. Now specify a location where you want to save this drawing and here we have it. So house plan model dot PDF and it will be saved here. You can rename it and give it any other name as well. Now hit the save button and your plot will be generated and here is the PDF of the plot. Now, one of the biggest advantage of using this plotter is its layer integrity will be maintained. So when you go on the left of this and you'll notice that the layers are here maintained. So we have these three layers and you can turn on and off these layers. So right now I've turned on off blocks and you can see that all the blocks are now lo no longer visible. When you turn off doors, doors will also hide from the drawing and you can turn back on all these uh, drawings. But as you have seen that using the PDF option in plot, we are able to only plot the current model view or the paper view. So in order to plot all the layout views as well in a drawing, you can select export to PDF option. So click on this X application button, select export and now select PDF. So this will create a PDF with all the layouts. Alternatively, you can use its command equivalent which is export PDF. Type export PDF and press enter. This export PDF window will pop up. So this window is also similar to the plot window. You have to specify a location where you want to save the plot. Now give it a name. This time I'm going to give it a name layouts plot. And now here we have some options. From this option, you can select here some presets which we have already seen. So the quality of this drawing or this plot can be set from here. If you don't want to change the qualities from this drop down, you can click on options and change the quality from here also. So right now we have general documentations preset selected here, which has a vector quality of 1200 dots per inch and raster image quality of 400 dots per inch. So we are going to keep this value as they are. Now currently, if you 
plot the drawing only the current layout which we have selected layout one will be plotted in order to plot all the layouts you need to select all layouts from export drop down so select all layouts from this export drop down and now click on save now this will work in the background and the plot will be generated so the plot is generated and now go to the location where the plot was saved and here we have the plot so it's layouts plot double click here and now when you look at the left of this screen you'll see that layout one and layout two both are now plotted in AutoCAD so we have both the plots available here so I hope this video was clear to you and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share like and subscribe thanks again for watching